The title of this book is The Battered Tome or The Histories of Hollowland. This book is involved in the In Search of the Meyer Key quest and can be reobtained in one's player owned house if ever lost. Histories of the Hollowland In years gone by, the land of Mauritania went by another name, that of the Hollowed Land. Much of that age has now disappeared into the mists of time. And as distant and forbidding as that time appears to be, something like that dread land Mauritania itself, we need to shoulder our heavy armor and trudge warily onwards. To understand the past gives us some glimmer of hope of understanding our time here, now, and perhaps a hopeful glance at a future. The strange structure of the land of Mauritania is due, most likely, in no small part to the many wars that have been fought through the lands of RuneScape. But even here, there is something quite strange about the terrain. Swampy and rotten, the foul smell of death and desolation fills the air. Where does this pungent aroma come from? It is said that before the Dark Lord Dragon arrived in Mauritania, a very different land existed, a green land, pleasant and bounteous, sufficient to please many hundreds of farmers and to supply large towns, villages, and cities with food. There is little information to support this idea, but there are hints that this land has not always been the darkened and dreadful place it now appears to be. There is more speculation about the time before our recorded history, when there appeared to be some disputes between the gods. In this time, it is said that Ceridomen and Zamorak brought forces through the world to fight for them and claim large areas of land. Where they brought these forces from and how, is still a mystery, but we can hardly deny that many weird and unnatural creatures do exist in this land, things which even the most advanced of scholars do not yet comprehend. Many of these creatures still infest Mauritania, and their place of origin is still not properly located. As an example of strange creatures, let us focus on the ghasts in Mort Myers Swamp. Which bizarre act of nature caused these freakish creatures to exist? It seems that whoever dies in this diseased and disgusting place is forever doomed to it. Ever hungry, ever hungry and searching for victims to feed on. Blessed is it then that somehow brave new adventurers are able to reveal these fallow creatures and destroy them with the great aid of Guthics, who adores balance amongst all things, and at the same time release the tortured soul from its earthbound torment. It is clear that some influence is at work in Mauritania, and its intent is bent towards evil. Before this dark period in history, Mauritania is believed to have had a golden age of peace. It is hard to imagine that the shade-infested town of Mortan could have once been a busy, happy, thriving, bustling town and even Canifus, once a busy market village supplying all manner of goods in the local population, instead of a cesspit of werewolf activity and a certain death trap for all but the hardiest of adventurers. Stories and yarns told by the inhabitants of Mauritania, and those lucky few who make their way out of that dark land give us some glimpses at what might have happened there. 
From these peoples come many bits of story and song from which we can piece together a plausible history line. That is the true aim of this tome. Let us begin with the current overlord of Mauritania, Lorenio Vergadiad Draken. His reign in Mauritania has been unchallenged in the history of the land, as far as we can tell. But how long has this been? What do we know of this dark lord? It is clear to many who have visited Mauritania that he is a creature of darkness, a vampire. But by which strange happenings did he come to be here? Some reports say that he came from beneath the ground of a great castle which stands in the middle of Mauritania. But from where? Some reports claim that a huge city lies beneath the castle. This does not seem plausible. Yet others say that there are countless tunnels which lead into a flaming dark inferno, which it is claimed these dark creatures come from, even more unlikely. What is interesting is that in all these great yarns, one fact remains always the same. He came into and attacked a castle which already existed. It is the author's belief that this castle existed before Draken entered Mauritania, and that some other power existed in the land before him. What this power was is not known those stories again give us glimpses at what might have been. One such tale is of a queen from a faraway land of considerable power and revered by the people. It is also claimed that the peoples named the land Hollowvale after her, though there is no true record of it. It is interesting to consider it is not hard that a time of peoples and pleasantness could have existed before the land of Mauritania, before this, and perhaps to consider, hope and pray that at some point those times shall be returned to this dark, plagued, and unhappy land. However, let us not forget that had it not been for the seven priestly warriors at Silveria, the lands of Mauritania, might extend today as far as Falador, and Varak may have been an even more sinister city than it appears today. And of those seven people, perhaps the most intriguing could said to be Invandus Sirgaes of Lumbridge, his silvthrow rod of power with blue serene gem was said to have been crafted by the artisans of Saradoman himself. And though there are no accurate records of this, it is said that its exacting and precise dimensions and shape were just the reason for its great power. When asked about how it was made and how it came into being, Ivandus had always simply commented, Of silver throw and exact dimensions is the item constructed. After enchantments that come from the magic of a man, it can be placed in our Lord Saradoman's holy water, where magical blessings will he commit to it. It is not clear why he should hide such important details in such incoherent ramblings. Suffice to say that many artisans have tried recreating this holy relic in a bid to supply adventurous types keen on restoring balance to Mauritania. But alas, this could not happen because the true dimensions of the relic are not accurately known. It is believed that the secret, along with the artifact, died within Vandus and now lies sealed up in the tomb beneath. Paterdamus never to be seen again. Another infuriatingly cryptic element, which is yet to be explained, is the balance 
which Gothix is supposed to have invested in Evandis in the form of a potion. Once again, his cryptic message does not help very much. Guthix's balance needs to be fed to those minions of darkness in order for the balance to be restored, and this task carried out only when they are held in Saradoman's power. For this to occur, one should supplement a common potion of bodily restoration with the essence of garlic and silver dust, the latter being gained by the use of a strange machine in the tower to the northeast of Mauritania and in the hands of some ghostly beings. Whatever the truth of all these details, it seems clear that Draken is intent on staying. His authority in that region has never been challenged, and perhaps arguably has grown over the centuries. Reports from that area are limited and vague, so perhaps the truth is either far less or far greater than we may currently comprehend. In any event, it is clear that some strategy should be forthcoming if Draken's evil minion should once again try to spread into Mistelen. It is believed, perhaps in error, that Pater Damas will stand forever as a silent guardian against the power of Mauritania. Perhaps one day we will see a redress of the evil that Draken has brought to Mauritania, and we will get to witness first hand the bounteous riches and wholesome living that can be had in the land once called Hollowvale. And we've reached the end of the histories of Mauritania. I hope you guys enjoyed that read. Pretty informative lore there. At one point in time, Mauritania used to be a rather chill place, sort of like the wilderness before it was destroyed in the God Wars. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that read, and I'll see you soon with the next one. Peace.